Hello guys, Game Changers back again with another great video. Today I'm showing you how to block OTA software updates on your iOS device from iOS 9 up to iOS 12. So let's get into it. So guys, as I said, I'm showing you how to block OTA updates. First thing you are going to need to do is go to the Royal Earls description down below. The reason it is Royal Earls is because I'm trying to generate money to add more apps to that uh, Apple ID. But this Apple ID, the one that we always give out, it does have Adblock Pro on it. You will need to go on the Apple ID, search up the app on the app store and then download it it should be free to download because we have already purchased the app on the apple id so you want to download the app and then once you open up the app you will want to wait 30 seconds as you can see i did have an ios update available on my phone and it was popping up to show me that we can get this ios update done um but obviously we don't want that we don't want the pop-up every day telling me that i need to update no i don't i don't want to update i want to stay exactly where i am uh ready for the jailbreak so once it opens up, obviously you want to press side to side. You want to go open to open the settings app. You want to tap on Safari, uh, then select the content blockers part, and then turn it on. Turn the AdGuard Pro on. So this way it'll allow you to use the VPN and so on. It will ask you to set up the VPN as well. I got a thumbprint set up on my phone, so I just use my thumbprint. But you may have to put your password in if you haven't got the thumbprint. It's pretty self-explanatory, easy to do. It'll just pop up, tell you what to do nice and easy like so yeah um all you want to do dns settings keep it on system default that's all you need tap on it press allow so it sets up the vpn as you can see i had touch id it might ask you for a password if you haven't got touch id on your device so you want to put that in press ok to allow it as you can see now up in the top my vpn is activated um i am just going through the app to make sure what i need and what i got just trying to remember everything that I need to do, okay? So you don't need to do any of this. This is just the part where I'm making sure I'm doing the right stuff to get this video done. Um, as you can see, uh, I am just messing about at the moment. Uh, but obviously, you want to come up. The status part, you want to turn off now. And the VPN will disappear from in the top left of your iPhone. Or depending on what device you have, where it is. Um, so, yeah. I will have to turn it off again. I just turned it back on by accident. So I turn it off obviously then you want to go into privacy settings and then blacklist um before you do that i do recommend going to the website it will be in the description this will not have a royal earls on it you can just go on here and then you want to copy and paste all these links into that blacklist part uh it is going to be a little bit hard to copy it but you can get the right spot and highlight it all and copy every link so you want to press copy and then you go back over to the adguard pro Go into blacklist and you want to paste all of these links into this blacklist part of the, the app so paste press done press back and then you want to scroll up turn on the status and that means the vpn will now be turned on as you can see up in the top left of my phone where the red bar is for my screen recorder you can see the vpn just activated and then if i go into my settings i'll go off here go back onto the software update as you can see now it'll just stay on checking for updates it will not find the update because it has been blocked so now if it automatically updates on your device it won't be able to do it anymore when your device is turned off or charging it will not automatically update you will not get any notifications for the update because it won't be able to find it um so yeah this is a pretty amazing method to do this guys so if you do want to stay on your firmware ready for the jailbreaks to come out this is probably the best method to do that on as you can see i am going to close down my settings just to prove that it is working i'll go back into it now it'll load up fresh and it still won't be able to find uh, the ota updates or the software updates it's unable to be found whatsoever so yeah guys i hope this video does help you guys out um it's helped me out a lot saves me from having to update and getting those annoying notifications don't forget to comment subscribe and like if this did help you out and i will Catch you in the next one. As always, this was Game Changers. Peace.